Thank you. Hi, Danny. Oh my gosh. Um, um, are you the reason I couldn't find strawberries easily at my store? <laughs> you know what's so funny is just a couple days ago, because my kids love strawberries so much, and I'm always trying to give them fruits and vegetables that they do or don't want. Strawberries was something I was just figuring out what the nutritional benefits are because that's their favorite fruit. So oh. this is so apropos that we're doing this. Wait, what makes strawberries nutritional? Do you know? They have vitamin C, uh, they have fiber, antioxidants, folate, yep. potassium, and it's fat-free, cholesterol-free, and low in calories. And it's probably my favorite flavor, whether it's a lip balm, a fruit, a That's scented cool. something, like a flavored something, strawberry is my go-to. Yeah, yeah. So what we're making today, Drew, for my new cookbook is a breakfast poke bowl. And this is completely vegan. So a poke bowl traditionally has like raw fish in it, but this is a sweet vegan version of this. And the strawberries, that's sort of the, the protein or the fish in there. And then the rice, we're using this beautiful jasmine rice, which I love, it's so fragrant and it's so delicious. And we've cooked it in mm. almond milk to give it a lot of richness. But what I would want to tell everyone at home is don't get the pre-cooked jasmine rice. I know it's a time saver, but really to cook this on your own, it's more economical and it only takes about 15 minutes max to cook your own rice. Yeah, home. yeah, I, um, I hear you on that one. Okay, so what we're gonna start with first is in a bowl right here, I have some almond milk, about half a cup of almond milk, and we're gonna add a little bit of sweetener, which is maple syrup. So about two tablespoons, two to three tablespoons. Maple, maple syrup, syrup is so hot right now, Danny. It really is. Remember it was like <laughs> stevia or this sweetener or agave. Maple syrup is having its moment. It's having a huge moment. <laughs> And then the way that we make this a, uh, a matcha breakfast poke bowl is that we need matcha, which is ground tea leaves. Yes. So it's just this beautiful, vibrant green color. And we're going to add this to our bowl. People and... go crazy for matcha also. That was so hot for a while, but it never went away. People are like freaks with matcha. They have their whisk, their wooden whisk and their morning rituals, or they go buy it, you know, in their local coffee tea place. Like matcha is where it's at. People go crazy for matcha. And what we do, once you mix that together, you want to, you want to toss this with your rice. Mm -hmm. And we're going to mix it all together just like this. And you get this beautiful, fragrant jasmine almond milk rice. Oh, this is gorgeous. Like, yeah, it's a little bitter, you know, from the matcha, but then you get that beautiful sweetness from the almond milk and the maple syrup. And so the combination really makes it nice. But what really brightens it is what we do to the strawberries. And so what I've done here with the strawberries is that you want to just, you know, slice the strawberries into little rounds like this. Mm -hmm. And one little trick that we love to do, and you don't want to skip this step, is that I've grated ginger. Okay, and you've grated it on a box grater, and then you can either put it in a, in a cheesecloth like that, or what I do is I put it right in my hands. Juice it. And then you squeeze it. You see that? See how much juice is coming out? I do. Right here. And I love a good cheesecloth moment, Danny. I'll wear cheesecloth. I'll cook with cheesecloth. <laughs> I'm a hippie, and I loves me some cheesecloth. <laughs> But the ginger just gives it, 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 that's a natural tenderizer for the strawberries. It adds another dimension and flavor profile. And within seconds, it transforms boring, not so great strawberries into the best tasting strawberries ever. I have to um, say when I bit into that strawberry and I had forgotten about the ginger detail, I got like a classic zing moment. I was like, oh my gosh, like, oh. Yeah. Oh, I love ginger. And the one thing we forgot, if you have it, it's kind of optional, black sesame seeds. If you want to sprinkle them on top. I ran out of black sesame seeds in my own house. So I'm using hemp hearts. Whatever you want to add on top to give it a little crunch. And that's it. We have we have breakfast right here. And I love how when you say a vegan poke bowl, that the strawberries look like the tuna. <laughs> I know. <laughs> now we get to eat, right? I'm drooling. I thought it was a good time. <laughs> Holy.
holy cow, Danny. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> the rice is like nothing I've ever tasted. Thank you so much, but it's also so good for you because you've got all the nutrition of the strawberries that you beautifully pointed out, the antioxidants of the green matcha. You've got uh, the protein and the fiber from the rice. It also so feels this has been one of my favorites. Economical, you know, this is a yeah. doable dish with time and economy. And I have to say it's so colorful and beautiful. And you always mm -hmm. know how to make healthy fun. So thank you, Danny. This oh, is a game you. changer. And okay. you know how to make fun fun. <laughs> I'm a I'm a good time right. gal.